Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Wednesday, April the 3rd, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. I'm here to read you today's entry from Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. Today's entry is entitled, Surprised by God. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Genesis chapter 28, verses 16 and 17. In our existence as usual, in quotes, We are like Jacob in sorrow, alienation, and loneliness, asleep in a desert ravine. But in his dream, or was he only then truly awake? He saw God interacting when he lay. He saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. It's Genesis chapter 28. Verse 12, God said, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Those are verses 14 and 15, also from Genesis 28. Awakening. Jacob cried out that God had been there after all. Jacob's entire perspective was changed. There is no place where God is not. And we will know this as we learn to pay attention. To reflect, in what ordinary places do you expect the sustaining word of God to be? In what existence as usual, in quotes, places would you be surprised to have God speak to you? My dear friends, as always, I commend you for spending a bit of time listening to one of these short but deep uh, devotional reflections as penned by uh, Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. And I thank you for letting me be able to serve you by reading these for you. Now, I'm going to play some information to help you with those reflections uh, in the description portion of this video so that when you uh, take the time to think about the questions raised, uh, it'll give you some direction. And I pray that you will take time to reflect and think about what has been presented here. Where do you expect and not expect to find God? I pray that you'll do that, and I then pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I'll read the next entry from Hearing God Throughout the Year. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.